Hey, what's up, guys? It's Love Fox, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make Sanrio's Choco Cat. And this is the finished result that we should end up with. And I'm just going to show you guys how to do it step by step. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the background layer. So, for that, I just use a round square shape. And then that way, it just helps me distinguish between all the black shapes in there because it's kind of hard to tell. Um, what I'm doing with them when it's a transparent background. So I'm just going to make it this color for now and you can make it any color you want to. We'll go in and make the face. So for that choose a circle shape and we're going to make it black. And I would say just make it uh, about that size. It doesn't have to be too big. And then we're going to make the ears so for that use the tongue emblem and you're gonna want to turn it around and then resize it down and go into free scale and make it a little bit wider and then you might want to change the color too that way you can actually see what it's gonna look like without being all weird so just play around with it and it's up to you you can make it pointy or a little bit more round if you want to um, for now, I'm just going to stick with something like that. And then I'm just going to copy and paste it over. Because eventually we'll have to change it either way. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like right now. So something like that. So that way you have the ears at least started. Go in and choose the circle shape and resize it down to about, oh, let's say there. And then copy and paste it over. And then you're going to move it to the other side. And then you can resize these as well if you think that they're too big for the face. Or if you just want to make them smaller. And then we're going to make the pupils. So go back in there and choose the circle shape. Change it to black. And then keep on resizing it down. And then just copy and paste it over. And I'm just going to... Go like that and get it so that it looks even enough and so that, that looks good to me. And then we're going to make the nose. So go back in there and choose the circle layer again. And for the color, you can use whatever color you want. I'm just going to use this like dark orange brown looking color. And then go into Freescale and you're going to make it wider and a little bit thinner. And then go back into Fixed Scale and resize it down to point, oh, let's say around there. So then go back into the Face Layer and switch from Fixed Scale Mode to Freescale. And then you're going to make it a little bit wider and shorter. I don't know how to describe it. Make it so that it's a lot wider. <laughs> Not that much wider, but something like that. And then you're going to want to copy and then paste the layer. And then bring the layer all the way down to either on top of or underneath the first face layer. It doesn't really matter just as long as it is somewhere near the bottom. Go into free scale and just move it up a little tiny bit so that way it's a little bit taller. It should look something like this. So we're going to move the ears around. I'm just going to move them out a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. All right, so something like that. And then what you're going to want to do is copy and paste one of the ear layers and change the color. That way you can see the difference. So um, I'll just choose this color for now and then I'll go back in there and change it so that way you guys can see what's going on. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that the ear layer is underneath uh, the face layer. So that way when we go into the to resize the ear, um, it'll be behind the face. And as you can see, um, it'll be something like that. And then go into color picker and go to color mixer and then you can mess around with the colors there that way it's not you know like a bright orange or a bright yellow that you're using it'll be more of a toned down color um, so I'm just gonna use something like this and I think that actually looks really nice so once you're 
all set with the color and you like how it looks, just make a copy of it and resize it down. And then same thing, you're going to want to bring it down underneath the face layer. And then just bring the other ear layer, the black one underneath the face as well. That way it'll give you a result, something like this. We are going to add the little tie, necktie. I don't know what it is, but we'll just call it a tie because it's cute. So what I use for that is the curved line shape. And go ahead, choose a color from there. For my last one, I think I chose a light blue. So for this one, I'll choose a light purple. Sure, why not? And move the layer down beneath the face layer. And then just resize it down to a point where you're comfortable with sizing and everything. And then go back and make another layer. And we're going to make the, the upper part of the body, I guess. Go ahead and choose the tongue layer. And then let's take a look and see. And then move it down underneath the collar, I guess, or whatever that is. And then change it to a black. Yep. And then you can go in there and free scale and change the dimensions on the shape. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we will go in and add the little details for the collar, necktie, or whatever it is. So go ahead, choose the diamond shape. And you're going to want to size it down. And then change the color on it too. That way you'll know how it's going to look like with the other part on there. So I think it was this one. And then you can also free scale it too and then make it so that it's not as wide and just make it a little bit thinner. So something like that. And then all I'm going to do is just copy and paste it over and then I'm just going to rotate it around a little bit and then make it a little bit smaller of a shape. Alright, so something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and add the whiskers. So for that, it's going to be the half tube shape. And resize it down and choose the color black for those. And then what I did is I went into free scale. And I made it so that they're not as thick. So get it down to about that size. And then what you're going to want to do is just kind of place it somewhere around there and then just copy and paste and do another one right underneath it and it's up to you if you want to make the bottom whisker bigger or make it smaller I'm just going to do it something like that so that way I can show you guys real quick what it's going to turn out to and then copy and paste one of the layers and then move it to the other side of the face and then again just do it so that it looks the same way that it is on the other side and then I'm just going to do that so I'll go ahead and save it for you guys to see and compare it to the first one I made. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same. Um, the only thing is the first one I made, it has a little bit of a bigger head. But the other one looks basically the same except for, I mean, m minor details. But I got this one done really fast. So I think it's one of those... That you can get done in like 5 to 10 minutes if you're in a hurry for a new emblem or something. So if you guys have any requests on emblems that you want me to put up tutorials for, go ahead, either leave a comment below or send me a message and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. And if you have any questions though about the emblem that I just made in this video, um, same thing, just leave a comment or message me about it and I will help you out with that. Or if you have any other questions about any of my other emblems that I've made, you can always ask me about it and I will help you guys out. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and click the like button below. And you should subscribe to me if you're awesome. And yeah, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, yeah, you guys should check out my other stuff too though. Not just my tutorials because I'm awesome. Okay, got a lot of girly emblems. It's probably because I'm a girl. Oh, oh, oh.